Hey, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and we're here for our uh, fifth installment of my CNC mini series, or uh, CNC, my laser mini series. This is a CO2 laser, my FL690. I'm setting it up, trying to get to our very first cut. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about pumping air. <laughs> Instead of pulling it, we're going to be pushing it. In this case, we're going to be using um, the stock. Uh, air pump that came with it. So when all this is plugged in, it's going to be very loud. We're going to solve all that, right? Um, but yeah, stay tuned. All right, the uh, stock air pump that came with my system is an ACO008. Um, this is a standard pump. Looks like on the ratings, it is a 110 model and it pit spits out. Um, 0.11 cubic meters per minute. Um, don't know how that translates to liters, but should be plenty for our laser. Um, we've got the laser, we've got, of course, its power cord built in, and we have some tubing. The tubing transitions from the larger tubing, um, which is needed for the pump, to the smaller tubing, which is plugged right into the back of the laser. Let's, uh, let's get a closer look. All right, here we are with a close-up view. We have our air pump. Um, we already have our water in, water out, and our chiller line here. We've got our air pump. Just gonna set it right here. I've got the uh, wires all kind of strewn around. We're gonna figure something out nicer for this. I think I've been researching a, a, an air compressor of some sort, but make sure the line is close enough. Send it right behind everything way over here to the back of the machine. We'll take a close-up of that in a minute. We're going to take our double tubing here, send one tube into the pump. It's not quite as critical to get it on all of the strands for the air as it is for the water, <laughs> because if it comes off, it's not going to throw any water. And then we're going to uh, give a nice twist just to keep it out of the way. I don't want a trip hazard or anything. I'm going to bring it up to the back of the machine and just slide it right in. The blue thing, just kind of give a little tug. Um, when you push it in, pull the blue thing out just a tiny, just a barely, just make sure it's all the way out. Um, I'm familiar with these types of compression settings for uh, um, Bauer tubes on, on, on 3D printers. So it's a very similar process. So the air will be basically be pumped in through the tube, goes in there, heads up to the gantry. So let's take a cl closer look at the power. All right, here we are with the tubing going down into the pump. The power cord for that is messily strewn around. I'll fix that eventually. And of course we have our power. So what I'm gonna do just like before, I'm gonna hook it up to um, power here. See if I can do it with one hand. And looks like it is activated, pumping air right in the machine. And jump over here. Definitely hear it. And I can definitely feel it. So here's the tube coming down into it, into the head, which puts it at the perfect angle to go right through to the tip. All right, here we are in the back. We're just going to unplug it from here. Then we're going to go ahead and plug it right into this third receptacle right there. Now, we've got all our, our three main components hooked up. That is the chiller, the, dust, uh, the smoke extractor, and our um, air pump. Now we're going to uh, go on to, I believe next up, we are going to be talking about power and possibly turning it on for the first time. So, remember, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and as always, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.